cool. So today we are going to um, look at dividing decimals by whole numbers. By whole, oops, decimals. And can I have someone read one of the questions for me? Yep, Orlando. Um, Okay, so it would be 82.1 divided by 4. Yep. Okay, the next one, please, Will. Um, 71.32 divided by 8. Divided by 8. Yep, and the third one we're going to do today is... Yeah, Tom? 19.2 divided by 3. 19.2 divided by 3. Excellent. Notice that when you say it, you say the number that you're dividing into and then dividing by is out the front. Okay, so just what I've written on the board there um, is the key step you need to remember. So who can uh, tell me what that is? It's written on the board. Alex, yep? Um, you have to line up the decimals. Excellent, you have to line up the decimals. So the tricky thing, thanks, miss. The tricky thing is um, with adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, some of them you have to line up your decimals and some of them you don't. Now, dividing is one where you have to line up your decimal. So what I say is before you start doing the question, you put your decimal straight above in your answer, all right, before you even start. Okay, so do that for your first question. Straight above, above the division. Cool, I might do this in a different colour. It's a bit clearer. All right. So this comes back to your knowledge of um, dividing um, whole numbers and how to, how to use the symbol of division. Okay, so how many times does 4 go into 8? Two. 2 times evenly? Yes. yes. Okay, how many times does 4 go into 2? Zero. 0. Do I have to write 0? Yes. Absolutely you do, because if you don't, it becomes 2 point something, and if you do as you should do, it's 20. So it's a totally different number. Okay, so yes, write the 0. Now what do I do, because here if 4 went into 2 zero times, so I have 2 left over that I haven't used yet. What do I do with that? Julie? Hear it? Okay, so when Julian says add, kind of not right, not the correct language I guess, I'll just make that a bit bigger for you. Yeah, so not adding as such, but you're making it into a 21. Okay, so 4 into 21. How many times does 4 go into 21, Alex? Five. Five times, excellent. Is there any left over? Yes. How many? One. Where do I put it? Just here. I put it here, and there's nothing here at the moment. But what I always say with decimals, if you can't see it, can't see a number, there's a zero after it, okay? So here there's nothing after the one. Imagine that there is a zero because it actually is. Zero goes on and on forever. Okay, so 4 into 10, twice, with how many left over? 2, so put my 2 here, add a 0 to make it 20. 4 goes into 20. All right, that's it. Okay, so that's all there is to it. All you have to do is line up the decimals. Yes, Tom? If you make it a 12, you'd be doing the wrong thing. You've just got to put it in front of the whole number, like you did with the zeros here. Okay, so when we think about this question, we've got 82, back to the signature chair probably please, 82 point something divided by 4. 80 divided by 4 is about 20, yeah? Okay, so we're in the ballpark figure of right. If you had 200, that would not be correct or anywhere close to correct. So just have a quick look at your number as well to make sure you've got the right thing. Okay, answer or question number 2, 31 divided by 4, uh, 0.42 divided by 8. So before we start, what do you think would be a rough roundabout figure as our answer? You had 30 divided by 8. We're at roundabouts, Baxter? Not 3. Oh, yeah, 3. Uh, I would say more closer to 4. Yeah, but around about that. We'll see how we go. Okay, um, what do I do first? Excellent. Above the line. And really, that's, it's, it's very easy dividing decimals. As long as you remember to put the decimal point in there, 
and also that you're making sure you do the right thing with anything left over each time. Okay, so let's go through again. It's been a while since we've done dividing this way. 8 into 3. Yeah. Good. So I, I can either write it there or I can just read it as 31. Up to you. 8 into 31. Not 5. 3. Okay, so what's 3 eighths? 24. 24. What's 4 eighths? 32. So that's too far. Okay, so we've got 3. 3 out of 24. So how many do I have left over? Seven. Seven. Where do I put it, please, Aiden? Um, at the four. At the four. Before or after? In front. Okay. Excellent. So eight into seventy-four. What does? What is eight nines? Seventy-two. Excellent. Nine times how many left over then? Two. Fantastic. Eight into twenty-two. Twice. Twice gets me to 16. So how many do I have left over, Baxter? Six. Six. And what do I do now? And then you add Zero. Fantastic. Okay, eight into 60. <clears throat> seven times. What is seven eighths? Uh, 56. 56. Okay, so I've got four left over. And if you need to just extend this out, you can do that. Put we'll my zero down. Eight into 40. Uh, five times. Five times exactly. Fantastic. So we said that our answer should be close to four, and 3.9275 is very close. That's fantastic. You, you did. Yep. Okay. So last example. All right. We'll do it together. What do I do first? Okay. Decimal on top. Um, three into 19 should be around about what as an answer? What should it be close to? Jacob? Um, three eighths are twenty four, are they? So it might be a bit smaller. Yeah, three eight, three six is at eighteen, so it should be around six, maybe a little bit more because our answer is a little bit more than eighteen. The answer of the top one, twenty point five two five. Okay, so three into one goes zero. Three into nineteen, as we said, three sixes gives us eighteen, so six. I've got one left over, 3 into 12. Four. Any left over? No. Super, so we're finished. Okay, so I'm going to write a few more quick examples down here um, for you to have a go by yourself. Um, but because I'm just making these up out off the top of my head, you might find that your answer goes for a long, long, long time into the decimals. Okay? So keep going carefully until you're sure that there is nothing remainder, no remainder. Okay? All right, who wants to make one up for me, actually? Okay, so give me the whole, the, the larger number that we're going to divide first, Julian. Five, two. Yep. What are we, what's the divisor? One. No. Two. Not one. Six. Not two. Three. Three. Okay. All right. Create another one for me, please, Jacob. Okay. Give me another um, number on the end of this, um, Jacob. Six, what, seven. Okay, cool. Um, Lucky. Ooh, tricky one. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video here and then um, I will do it together and then I'll write the answers in and start the video so you can see the answers at the end. Okay, let's go. Okay, so going through those questions, boys, thank you. I would suggest that um, you pause this video if you need to work out how I've done this, but the answers for 4, 5, and 6 14.173 repeating. So I put a little three above the one that repeats forever. Probably don't need that one there on the end, actually. 5.42783 repeating, just the three. And 6.5203 repeating again. Amazing. Okay, good luck.